Hello and welcome. My name is Azili, and today we're playing some Surviving Mars Challenge Modes as introduced in the Sagan update. I'm in love with this idea. We're currently doing Housing Bubble, which we pre we played through on stream live over there on Twitch not too long ago. And now I'm going to make this recording. We have completed it. We completed it in 23 souls. I'd like to complete it a little faster. The requirements for this is that uh, we have to survive cold waves and dust storms. We are China. And I think those are the only rules other than the fact that, you know, we only have so much time. I'm excited for these challenges. I can't wait to get my hands on some others. I'll probably be recording each and every one of them. We'll probably test some things out live on stream and then uh, record it to share with you how we worked it out together on stream. So first we're always introduced into uh, the payload. One thing that we may need to consider is I actually kind of need a, f a fuel refinery right off the bat. I also need a moisture evaporator right off the bat if I'm going to get people up here quick. Uh, gosh, um, this is difficult. This weighs 10,000 kilograms. I could, can I get both of these? I can, perfect. Okay, so I took the command commander off. If I can get, if I can get the moisture evaporator and the fuel refinery on the planet quickly, I can then start cranking out fuel to send this rocket back and then have another one that comes up with our commander and explorer. Now, it's important to know that the goal is to beat the challenge, not necessarily plan for longevity. Nothing in these rules say our colonists have to live. I know, kind of cryptic, but it's true. The rules don't say they have to live. They also don't say they have to live past a certain amount of time. We still have our soul, our 10 day evaluation, our 10 soul evaluation before we can send more colonists. So the goal would be to beat that as fast as possible. We beat it at 23 days. I'd like to get it under 20, which would be a three day, a three day shaving off three days but for a perfect score it has to be 13 or 12 is what they say but like in the grand scheme of things it says it's 13 I don't know how that works um, but the beauty is is that it doesn't count until you land so I can immediately go back and send another payload back to or over to Mars. So I'm immediately going to jump in. I'm going to hit close. I'm going to hit pause. And I'm going to jump in. And we're going to grab. Some of these guys. We're going to need more polymers to build stuff. We're going to need more machine parts to keep things going. We're going to need a few electronics to keep things going. I'm not really too concerned about food yet. Uh, although I should probably send some so we can grab an initial so we have like a nice bump I'm gonna grab one of these guys one of these guys Because then I can make the moisture evaporator although on I really gosh These guys are so heavy I'll run like this. We'll we'll run like this. Okay, so now we have two rockets. I got one that's gonna land. I'm gonna probe. Hope that we oh look, water. Hope that we get some stuff. 
I'm gonna tell it to start scanning stuff. I'm not gonna land where it told me to or where it's showing me. Uh, this is all cold. Let's ignore this. Let's get stuff that's warm. Uh, that's five, uh, seven, eight, and we'll go with nine. Uh, I'm gonna land here. I have water, which means I could start drilling for water. Looks like we got a little bit of metal on the surface. Now we discovered this spot when we were on live on Twitch, which is how I knew the water was there. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing about, nothing is against the rules as far as surveying the land, if you will. Alrighty, so I'm gonna land this rocket eventually. Probably about, probably about here, which is a little too close to those mountains for realism's sake. I'm also going to build a dome that can grab this bit of stuff. But I'm going to immediately power it off. I'm also going to set some depots down before we even get our rocket landed. Doing all of this helps somewhat speed up some of your time. It's going to tell me that it can't do it because it's too far from a drone commander. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll let it land. And we'll go to speed three, make this go a little faster. Boom, done. Okay, now... Have you, have you figured out that you're down on the ground now? Yay! Okay, I'm keeping some things separate here. Because I want... I want to see this stuff. So I'm placing these guys. This was... Oh, I'm going to need fuel. I want to see the fuel. I'm doing this just to see something separated. Um, I'm going to let them... I'm going to let them go. I'm going to switch it back to speed one. I'm going to tell this guy. And something that I really, really enjoy is the change to this. I could say load all these resources... And then I could say dump them here, which is awesome. I'm also going to put down a universal depot since I didn't separate a lot of stuff there. Pause. I don't need them to do anything right now. But what I do need is I need to get my concrete extractor going. I'm going to place it like so. I'm going to run cable this way I'm actually going to use since we have since we have a lot of dust being kicked up I'm going to use these guys but this takes machine parts for maintenance and that's probably, like, we're running a, a pretty significant risk having everything, like, clustered. But our goal is speed and not, maybe not complete self-sufficiency. Uh, I'm also going to produce a water extractor. We'll do it. We'll do it, like that and I'm actually going to take this get rid of that the letter V is a shortcut and it pulls up your pipes V, f the way I remember it is V for valve or unless you like the movie V for vendetta
But that should, uh, that should take care of that. We might, we might take, uh, replace this piece here. Our dome isn't going to be built for a while, which is kind of a bummer. I can't really connect our Sterling generator on this side to keep it away from some of this dust. What I might do is I might... This could lead us to here. There. Go. Speed a billion D, please. Okay, so with that done, a couple of things that I could do is I could also plan the fact that I need a moxie. Now, moxies don't, uh, they're not gonna work during a dust storm. So, this is also probably not the most ideal place to put it, given that it's gonna be dusty here, although they don't necessarily complain about dust. So that would be that. I'm going to need water storage. I'm also going to need to place a vaporator, my moisture evaporator, which can kind of complain about dust, although they get cleaned rather frequently. What is blocking? Oh, yeah, what is blocking? Oh, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, let's put it this way. And then we could put a heater here, or I could sneak a heater. Actually, let's, uh, let's make a little bit of space. So we have to... <laughs> We also have to plan for heating things. Now we could heat this because those heaters have a very, a pretty specific range. Uh, I'm going to research that first because physics should have the heater in it. Uh, just out of, on a whim, uh, we might unlock an internal uh, farm rather quickly. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit more money. Okay, that's... that's going. Open that guy up. We're farming some metals. We're gonna have another ship here in a, in a second or two. I'm gonna speed three it. If you guys out there in uh, YouTube land have uh, done this tutorial, Share some of your strategies. I'm sure that there's plenty of different strategies out there. So we should hear soon, as soon as they finish this link here, we should have power and our concrete extractor should be coming along. This is day one. We're at the end of it. What are our little robots doing? I should also build this hub. That would help. There. I should also build my fuel refinery. Let's tuck it in as close as possible. Awesome. We are now in business. There goes our oxygen. We should be making fuel now. We should be filling this up. 
in uh, about now, we should have a, a rocket. I'm going to also land it over here. It's going to have more materials on it. So a couple things that I want to look at. I need, I need 20 metal, 80 concrete, 10 polymers for that. I need to have four living quarters, which takes six concrete. So as long as I get the concrete, I'm not going to need as many polymers. I'm going to tell this to build this right now. Now I need concrete for these guys as well. I'll also need concrete for a battery. But right now, I am good on power with just this drilling generator and then that one turbine at the moment. But we're about to have enough we're about to have enough turbines to power this whole whole shebang. This is going to need a machine part. It also needs a machine part for maintenance, I believe. This guy needs what a machine part for maintenance as well. And I think I grabbed I think I grabbed another drone hub, right? I did. Look at me being all smart. Uh for the sake of spreading this out, I might actually just run a little bit of a line. I might wait. I might wait till this dome is built so I could put it this direction. Although I don't... There's really no need. It's just a matter of sharing the burden. And just getting more drones going. Uh, drones are your worker bees. If you don't have enough workers, things take forever. Right? So... The more workers the quicker things get done. Uh, if you've ever played Age of Empires, that's a blast from the past, yeah? You would have, the more villagers you had, the more, the quicker things were done. So if you threw 20 lumberjacks on the uh, task of gathering your wood, you would gather more wood quicker than the one that sent only five, right? So the more of these drones, the more work I can get done. Uh, I also grabbed this guy. This guy should go scan this. I also saw there's some metal this way. I'm gonna tell it to grab this, grab all of this. I'm gonna need it and then bring it here. And then now my little command drone can go here and assist I'm also going to tell this, I'm going to grab these drones, take this guy, I'm going to say assign them to this one. So now they should all be assigned. I'm going to lower this priority. I don't want it taking the fuel that this one should be getting. I want this one to go up first. So now that I've done this, this is, this is top priority. I have all the stuff I need. I need concrete. So, let's see if we could speed this up. I might not be able to. I might not be, I might have kind of screwed myself. <laughs> okay. I don't have any, I don't have any uh, boosts to it yet. Uh, but one thing I can do is I can make it function a little better by removing any of the waste rock from it. I left a space. Now we'll perpetually have a space. There we go. Okay, our uh, 
Our explorer has just finished its one and only mission. Because I don't think uh, I don't think in any of the other playthroughs that we've done, this will be the third total playthrough. If I could beat my twenty set my twenty three, uh, that will be a better better time. The first playthrough didn't quite work out well. We ended up uh, we ended up dying. I wish you guys would do something. Okay, so we have new technologies available for research. Uh, yay, but that's not what I want. <laughs> uh, can we please, uh, can we please get heaters? Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go back down to speed one so I could scout some more metals. There are supposed some, uh, meteor strikes that will maybe uncover some metal or leave us some metal but uh i've not been lucky enough to find metal Ooh, it did it not finish where are you if you double click on it it should send you there okay so you're just gonna scoop that up that's fine we still have we still have some nice metal that is here. Okay, speed three, let's go. Oops. Oh, sensor. Uh let's put it let's put it here. This is top priority. I need this going. What does this need? This needs concrete. And it can only make so much concrete. Okay, so I think my strategy just changed. If we don't beat my time... We're going to take two we're going to do two concrete extractors, which I did the first time and I felt that I had just too much. But it's probably better to have too much than too little, I guess. Now that we have our sensor up and running, we should be scanning a whole lot quicker. 198% at least to the adjacency. You need 40 concrete. I'm going to need more metal. I'm going to need more water. Let's get... I changed that priority to see if we'll... Uh... Let's see if that will just get this built. Sector scanned. Yay. Give me another one. Uh, give me that one. Surely there should be plenty for these little drones to do. There they go. Boop. I want this water tank filled. And then I'm going to want another one filled, but we'll build it on another side. I know not enough power. We need to build these guys. Boom. I would like one more. We'll eventually probably use a battery. I'm hesitant to use solar power because I know we're going to have dust storms.
And then when this thing gets running, this is going to consume some power too. So now this is just production, production, production. How are we doing on fuel? We're at 31 of 50. We have to watch this closely. We have to watch this like a hawk. And nothing is left on it, which is excellent. Awesome. So this is probably the part where we'll speed it up for YouTubes. Because we're already at 26 minutes into this challenge. So we'll probably speed up this video a little bit. This needs to get built. Let's go. Chop, chop. Forty-six. Ah, this is painful. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go get some metal. Take this, grab this, drop it off here. Go, chop, chop. On the double. And for scanning, I sure had. Oh, more metal. Good. And water. Okay. Almost there. Okay, so my tip would be make two of these. Make two of them. And I filled a water tower. Good job. Now, if only I could get my science done. Oh, we're within 20. And it makes 20. We're within three. This could be the moment. Ooh. Oops. There. Yay. Pause. Time to get uh, time to get those heaters. Go. And hopefully this is going to give us 
some science, which will let us boost this. We only need a thousand. Then we could have heaters, and then we're basically, it's game over. We just gotta get people here. Dang it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Thanks, game. Are you up? Oh. Here we go. Boom. Done. Done, Zors. I'm going to place down this guy. Uh, we're going to need this. And we're at least going to need uh, this guy. But I'm going to do this. We're going to do a park. Little tiny garden. Put that there. That should be enough to at least satisfy our first our first ten days. So hopefully we're gonna pull this off. I need Scientists, I need botanists, and I need no specialization, and I need to, just restrict it to none of these. Uh, I would love to highlight them, although it keeps us at 62. Uh, we've thumbs down our tours. So 62, we should be able to find enough. Perfect. Scientist. Done. Done. I don't necessarily I don't necessarily have a way to satisfy social yet. So we got a scientist to no specialization. They can help the grocery. That would be a third for the grocer. Uh, I don't necessarily have a way for gaming to be satisfied. Uh, well, I could do a metals space, uh, grab the metals, which is why I built the dome near it. So I could at least have a somewhat supply of, uh, metal rugged. Um, we're at 10. You're a scientist. I need scientists to help research. Probably need a few more botanists, right? So that's what one, two. Uh, 
Uh, that's probably enough botanist. Although I could always add, I could add another thing. One, two. Three, four. So I could take five, six, and build another one. We're at 18, so I need four more. I'm just taking kind of some no specialization. Uh, one more. Done. Launch. Launch anyway. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to immediately grab Oh, because the other one is still going to Earth. I was like, wait a minute, I should have a rocket back home. We are now short power. How much does this take for concrete? We got nada. I need you to hurry up with the concrete. <laughs> like hurry up a lot. Okay, so some of them will have homes. I'm going to turn... Two more. You can do it. You can do it. I'm going to grab a cargo rocket. I'm going to grab stuff. We're going to need stuff to fix things. We're going to need some food because I don't expect them to really produce a whole lot. Uh, polymers is something that I ran out of machine parts in one playthrough. Um, electronics is not. I don't want to spend all of the money. That will certainly help shore up some power. Uh, but I grabbed more moisture evaporators so I could keep producing water. I need, I need to be able to make, I need to be able to produce enough water to make enough, uh, Fuel, and then to keep my water reserves up enough for that when we get into uh, what is it a cold wave we have enough water to keep the heaters going
and I grabbed some drones because I know some are sitting down or just waiting. But when we get stuff going, we're going to need some more capacity. Okay, that's done. Did I get anything? No. Oh, it's not working because I don't have any people. Oh, here we go. I'm going to land... I'm going to land here because if we end up actually building another dome, we're going to build this way so we can kind of surround that. Here we go. It's showtime. I'm also going to tell it to build... A battery. Okay, now we just have to live. Can we get one more piece of concrete? Just to finish this project, please. And one more piece of concrete to finish that project. Yay. Because they need this to get food. Thank you. A lot of them don't have jobs yet. Although I could... I could give them a job. There. And... Here comes the dust storm. There. That that should at least help us. Have enough oxygen. I might need to throw another Muxie. Although the Muxie is not going to work during the dust storm. And leave space for a heater. Because now we're consuming water for our plants. They're going to eat a lot of leaf crops. Everything is like... Yeah, that's, that's what they're going to get. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for this part. We'll pick this up in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If this or any of the videos have been helpful for you, please like and subscribe and feel free to share. We love to meet new friends. Be good to each other. You can find me here on YouTube or over on Twitch. All the links are below the video. 
Have a good one.